Hi Capricorn, thank you for being here. Uh, it's L here and I'm going to do um, a general uh, love reading for March 2021. Uh, thank you all for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All right, let's jump into it. Uh, okay, so I've got some cards pulled here. We'll talk about your personality and how you're coming to your relationship, uh, Capricorn, situation, shit, relationship, whatever it is. You in relation to another person, okay? Um, your personality is showing up as the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you feel like this is a solid, stable relationship. It's the full manifestation of what will be, what is. This is your end all be all um you see lifelong relationship partnership uh in this person you feel like they have a good reputation how they come off to the public is you know is high and you know high reputation and prestigious um you feel like someone this could be you too your personality you feel like you're an expert at whatever it is you do um you've reached the highest pentacle of 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 success of modern success of um in your career and love life okay so this is how you come in to the relationship this is your personality some of you could be a little arrogant, a little conceited, uh, a little boisterous, maybe even flamboyant or haughty. Um, some of you may feel as if you deserve what it is you deserve. And, and that is not up for debate uh, or conversation. It is just what it is. This is how you, this is what you know of yourself and this is what you feel you deserve. How your person is coming to the connection is the two of swords. So this person feels as if it might be a neat, this is a waiting period for this person, a waiting period and to see what will happen next. I can't pick the card up. Um, what will happen next? This is the gestation period. Uh, they need to digest everything that's going on here they may feel as if they need to protect their heart um they're trying to process a, de a decision here it in, it might have something to do with a commitment a bond agreement an agreement um some legal bonding contract or that could be marriage because marriage is contractual too um i'm hearing prenuptial agreement or something of that nature but your person is is uh showing up as they are of two minds about a situation here they could be burying their head in the sand they could be stalling um if you guys are not together this person could be anticipating a reunion or coming back together it could happen rather quickly But this person is of two minds about this connection, this commitment. Um, not exactly sure because something is going to be binding. Um, someone feels as if they will be stuck too. The challenge presented here is for you Capricorn is the four of cups. You, you are bored. You want something now. You feel like you deserve it now. Um, you feel like you're the best candidate for it now. Um, you feel like someone could be missing out on an opportunity on you to have change of journey, maybe even change of home. Some of you could be wanting to move to a home, feeling as if you deserve this new thing, this new, this new cup, this new emotional emotionally fulfilling thing you feel like something you have is already old and done with and you've already gone through that phase and now you want 
to take the relationship to a new level, a new status, uh, a status change. Um, you want to have more stability. Uh, you want a firm foundation or foundation to be built upon. Um, emotionally, you feel like it, it should already be there. Um, some of you feel like the foundation is rocky now because your partner may be coming in confused, confused on their side, two of swords about what it, what's happening next. Well, you are discontented. There's discontentment. There's discord about process, about the process on your end. And that's the challenge for you. The challenge for your person is the five of wands. Once again, it could be the petty arguments. It could be the arguments without real solution, just arguing to be arguing. No, there's no mediation or mediator. There's um, the competition. There's side conversation, uh, maybe even jealousy. There might be some gossip surrounding the connection altogether. There's a lot of drama. There's um, some of your partner may feel like there's an air of immaturity or childish or childlike behavior that someone is just caught up in the romantic or the romance of the connection of the love affair, uh, which hence is leading to drama or just arguments and or fighting, um, just opposing wills, competing goals. So you and your partner may not be on the same wavelength right now. It's because your partner is coming in as the five of wands and then the two of swords. Lots of confusion for your partner. Uh, your hopes and dreams, Capricorn or the Knight of Wands, you want something to happen. You want maybe your partner or you want to take action now. You, you're self-assured because you're coming in as haltiness, okay, and the Ten of Pentacles very self-assured you feel like this can be successful whatever this is um you want it done now you're going to take some creative measure opportunity to go full speed ahead you have one idea in mind one goal in mind and you want that to be successful for some of you it could be about the commitment a wedding some of you you want you want an approval on something you want to announce to others that this thing is happening. Whether it's you building this grandiose home, uh, business, um, or you're coming together in marital bliss, you want to announce, you want to be able to announce this to others. You want the approval from your partner. You want them to get on board and you want it to happen now. What your partner hopes and fears are, or what hopes and dreams are. Ten of Swords. Hope, I don't know if your partner just wants out. Hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams to Ten of Swords. They want the full manifestation of this to be, to be over. Maybe they want the tough time between the two of you to be over. They want, um, this is a masculine energy. This might be a father, uh, definitely a masculine energy. Um, they, they don't want their reputation to be slighted. It's, it's a lot of co side conversations going on, gossip, uh, the hopes and dreams. They want something to come to, it, to an end, full and final manifestation, the completion of this is it. Um, they want, they want something to be over. They want the, the violence of the, of the relationship and it doesn't have to be physical violence, but the violence and the abuse of the relationship or in the relationship, they want that to be over. They want it to be done. They want, uh, a new cycle to start between the two of you possibly, or they want the relationship to be done altogether. Uh, they don't, hopes and dreams, maybe they don't want betrayal, but they could be anticipating it here. 
with all the swords on your partner's side, it's, it's telling me to tell your partner to be cautious of cutting out loved ones. I don't know if your partner wants to completely be done with the relationship or they just want their very confused mindset to be done. Um, because then we have cheerfulness as the Sabila card for your partner. So they want to be in a you know a gathering um you know a setting where people are gathered and they're making some announcement um they want to celebrate something they want to have cheerfulness and fun times but there's a lot of anxiety on your partner's side this person needs mediation and a counselor. They need good counsel right now. What is um what connects you two or what brings you two together is the five of swords and the ten of cups. Um if this was a reunion or if this will be a reunion, something was open ended anyway. It it never really ended. It might have end it with some choice words some tough conversation but it didn't fully have its completion so maybe that's why your partner's coming up with the ten of swords maybe they want that or they yeah they want that with you the reason why you guys came together is I, and then also what i was getting somebody aggressively pursued the other The reason why you guys are um, came together is because there's a level of self-centeredness, aggression, maybe even volatile behavior. This is somebody who self-sabotages also their true happiness, Ten of Cups. So the reason why you guys may have come together is because there needs to be a processing of how either you or your partner or both of you deal in love relationships or, or love affairs or how you deal with drama, how you deal with discord. Um, you also need to understand that a relationship, a love relationship is not uh, win, lose, or draw. There are no winners if love is involved. If you t if you both love each other and you're choosing to fight and separate, then who won? Because you both still love each other. It's two losers walking away. Somebody, somebody needs to learn how to sharpen their words too. Need to stand up for themselves. Uh, Someone needs to understand when there is bad blood amongst a group of individuals, how they need to let their true happiness overshadow that. If you're truly happy in a connection, don't let groups of individuals sabotage that for you or poison your mindset because there's lots of uh, conversation happening surrounding the two of you somebody also needs to learn how to talk to the other learn that words do cut and l words stick much longer than you know physical blow to the face or to the body or whatever Somebody's reputation is on trial here. Someone's waiting for the verdict in terms with this conversation card. Someone's waiting for the final verdict here. Somebody's waiting for somebody to F up. So just don't have faith in it going right. Maybe on the partner side. 
All right, signs highlighted here could be Gemini, Libra, Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces. Do we have any major arcana on the board? None. Wow. So this is all on you and your partner. Like, this is completely on you guys in terms of how you deal. All right. So the chakra card that came out for you, Capricorn, is you are full of drama and fear. You need to work on your root chakra. Um, maybe you, you need things to be done. You need to be put up on this pedestal. You need the approval of others. You want to kind of get the validation and approval of others because maybe you you feel like your reputation took a, a blow or is taking a blow so um you're operating from a, a state of fear when we make decisions or we're trying to make up our mind or we're trying to make moves from fear is typically not the right move not the right decision uh there's only two real emotions in the world that's love and fear and uh definitely don't want to be in this energy so homework google root chakra learn what that is learn how you can develop that learn how you know what that's all about so you can get better and at the bottom of the deck yeah um compulsion and addiction are symptoms of the problem not the problem sacral chakra some of you you do things compulsively. You want people to act compulsively. Knight of Wands, too. Some of you could be, uh, yeah, you just want it done. With the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, too. Two of the most impulsive, compulsive knights here. Um, to throw caution to the wind. Maybe that's what got somebody's reputation on trial here in the first place so you need to google sacral chakra and learn about that and learn how to govern yourself accordingly however i don't know um thank you capricorn i hope that it resonates with you if it does go over to the website book your own full reading at the website or if you have a question or two or three you can text your questions to the number below Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you, Capricorn. Much love in the month of March. Take care, guys.